Hello everybody, my name is Vito and my project was on A Clockwork Orange directed by Stanley Kubrick. The director is Stanley Kubrick. He was born in July 26, 1928 in Manhattan, New York. Sadly, he passed away on March 7, 1999. He has two kids and three different spouses. Um, he was a director of a lot of famous films. He started his film career, career in 1953 after raising about $1,000 of showing his short films to friends and family and which they all loved it. And this is when he decided that he wanted to be in the film world and he wanted to show the world that he, he could be a good director, which he's, he is, he became. The top films made by Stanley Kubrick was A Clockwork Orange, obviously the project I'm doing right now, 2001, A Space Odyssey, Full Metal Jacket, Lolita, Barry Lyndon, and others that I haven't mentioned. But all the films listed above was why he was known as one of the top successful directors of all time because his film come out top notch and it always has good rating. Um, if you if y'all want to check out one of the top films that I listed above, you could go check it out yourself and see it for yourself. A, Cl a Clockwork Orange. This film was released on February second, nineteen seventy two, and the story was written by Anthony Berge of uh, Burgess. This film is about a demonic the, the gang leader named Alex with his Drugs crew member. He had three of them, and they go on a, a shot. Uh, they go on a killing spree, rape, and all the other bad things you could think about. But later on, he finds himself in a jail cell after he got transferred into a mental hospital where they had to brainwash him to not be violent, so he doesn't do the things he did before. And um, anyways, let's get straight to what happened so as you can see in the top left picture that's alex in the middle and his crew standing behind him and alex is the gang leader and the rest just follows what he leads right and the picture down below in that scene you could tell alex is they went on a uh they broke into a house by lying saying one of them needed help and then they um, the, the owner of the house got got food and they actually opened the door which led them to the old man getting jumped and also his wife getting raped and killed also now in this scene is when Alex robbed a woman and the cops were coming so they had to run but as you can see the picture on top the, uh, one of his crew members holding a bottle behind him because he's about to whack Alex with it because they were going to betray him they didn't they didn't like Alex as a leader anymore. They they wanted to promote someone else, but Alex wasn't cool with this. So Alex decided to beat them up first. And then they, they decided to betray him. So ever since the cops came, um, their crew members got it ready. And then they beat up Alex, beat him up, and they ran away, which left Alex alone. And the cops got and he got caught by the cops at the end. And then this is when Alex got sent to prison to serve his time. Now, his regular time he was supposed to serve was 14 years. But he was obeying the orders, doing everything the officers told him to do. And after serving like a, after serving two years in prison, one of the chief administrators came and decided to talk. And, and which made Alex like standard, just like everybody else, all the prisoners. And then um, the chief minister was walking around. He decided to talk back to him. Which led them send him to the mental institution where he was treated heavily until he became good to not hurt anyone once he gets released. Ever since he got transferred to the mental institution, they did the aversion therapy on him. Now, if y'all don't know what the aversion therapy is, the aversion therapy is in which he is injected with Nazi with other drugs while watching violent movies, which this therapy can train your body and your mind to go against what you usually done, what all the bad things you've done before. So since he was violent, all that rape and everything, they put on music, movies of violence, and just make him watch it, like keep his eyes open until he can't take it no more, until he goes against violence. So they will do this therapy every day until he finally can't take it anymore and, and go against violence, which he is known for, violence, gang, rape, everything else. And yeah. 
So after like four or five treatments, Alex finally got the memo to not hurt nobody. So he got released. But ever since he gets he got released, he was kicked out of his own house because his parents um got someone else in the house as like a rent roommate or something like that. And um all the people he used to beat up, they came back on him. The old man he used to beat up started beating him up with his crew and also his crew members before his droogs. Before the betrayal, they became cops. And then suddenly, they found him in the streets, like, by himself homeless. So they decided to bully him and beat him up. As you can see in the bottom picture, they were, like, drowning him in, like, this dirty, dirty water. And he couldn't fight back because he was so used to the treatment of no violence that, that if he does violence, it just messes with his mind. And, and yeah. And that's, my, and that's why he can't fight back because he's scared to now. Which lead to after getting released and beat up by the public, he finally found his old man house, who he beat up and raped his wife a few years back. But the old man forgot and actually took good care of him. He he gave him he let him shower in the house, he gave him food, everything else you could think of. But the old man started to notice that he don't like the music from the therapy. He didn't he didn't like the music that he put on, and the music was from the therapy. And he started remembering. He, and then the old man also started remembering who Alex was, which led him to call some people to come in to help Alex, which led him to lock to being locked up in this one room. And the old man playing the music, the violent music downstairs in the in speakers where it could hear all around the house, which caused Alex to go crazy. And then once he can't take it no more, like officially couldn't take it no more, he decided to open the window and let go and. He decided to try to commit suicide, which, as you can see in the bottom picture, the um, bottom left picture, the person jumping off the the house is Alex. But ever since Alex tried to commit suicide, but he failed, people started to bash the institution that they have made that their therapy was the reason why he went crazy and that and that um he was not himself and he committed suicide which is true the therapy made alex someone that he's not and it was just sad so they had to make alex become his old self again so they don't blame the mental hospital or anything else or the government which made them starting to take good care of him in the in the regular hospital and they were serving him food and everything and um I believe that Alex, he changed naturally on his own to his own self where he doesn't hurt himself again. And also other people, I believe he became mature and a good person naturally as he grows older to himself. And yeah. And this was my work side of page. And this is it for my project. My name is Vito. And thank you for listening and watching.